Hey guys, um, just want to put out another update, just missions update, um, with, you know, just walking through, um, what it looks like to be a missionary with YWAM and, um, just talking about the last few months. So I think the last video I put out was, um, around, or the last update, email update was around August, September area. And, uh, I was just talking about our experience serving in Maui. And so if you need to get caught up, um, I led an outreach team as part of the discipleship training school. Um, I led an outreach team to Maui and to uh, Hilo. And if you're not familiar, those are both places in Hawaii, um, two different islands. Maui is a separate island from the big island and Hilo is on the big island, um, on the east side. So, wow, incredible time. Um, so much reconciliation. Like, um, I explained in my last video, not the last update, but the last video, how there's so much hurt and brokenness that, um, that Hawaiians have experienced, um, you know, in the loss of their kingdom. And also in the loss of, I mean, it's, it's very relatable to the Native Americans. And then in the loss of, um, you know, how the first generation children of missionaries are the ones who ended up writing these contracts um, to claim land. And then Hawaiians started losing land even before America claimed Hawaii as a state. All that to say, um, there was tons of reconciliation. Maui was a hard place, though. I'm going to be honest. It was a super hard experience. And I, if you want to learn, like know more about it, I'd love to talk one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and I'll actually be home. And I'm going to announce this at the end of the video too. But I'll be home uh, December, um, December, sorry, November 23rd or 24th to uh, December 6th. So I'll be in Maryland for about two weeks. Um, and if you want to talk more, uh, if you want to support me, if you want to, uh, if you want to be ministered to, I would love to, sorry, low battery came on. I would love to meet you. I would love to catch up. Um, there's, there's a lot of people who I'd like to see while I'm back here in town. Um, yeah, so Maui, though, hard experience. It was a very hard experience. I was ref refined a lot in my leadership. Uh, you know, the students that I led, they were, they were all leaders, which is awesome. All leaders, great for missions, but they were still in a discipleship training school. And that made it hard sometimes because they had a hard time submitting to leadership. You know, and so that, that adds difficult layers for building unity in a team and things like that. And then, um, yeah, we just had challenges with our contacts as well. And would love to talk more about that. It was overall a great experience. And in the end, um, one of the guys in Maui, his name is Justin. He said to us that uh, before our team came, he didn't know what love was. And man, God worked there. God worked there. And we were serving at this church a lot. That's like 85% Hawaiian, um, which is really cool. I love that. Um, that's kind of rare actually in Hawaii, but, um, yeah, so great experience there. Then in Hilo, we served there for another two weeks with most of our team. And then another four weeks with myself, my co-leader and one other student. And, uh, so six weeks total in Hilo and Oh my gosh, I'm not going to lie. I feel like in Maui, that experience was so hard. I feel like I, I experienced some burnout from that. Um, and through that experience, when we got to Hilo, I just felt like God was saying that he wanted to pour his love out on our team. And so when we got to Hilo, oh my gosh, God extravagantly blessed us. I remember, um, uh, like a week into our outreach, we had some financial difficulties and, uh, the church came together. Um, different people donated to us. 
Um, we, we had a need for like food stuff. So they literally like a bunch of the church members cooked potluck food for us, like crock pot stuff. And we had food covered for us. I mean, we, we bought a little bit, but we had most of our food covered for most meals of the day for like the rest of our outreach, like five more weeks. It was absolutely incredible. And then we, we had amazing relationships there too. So just overall, the outreach was a great experience, but I feel like God refined my endurance so much through this outreach and he refined the, um, he refined my ability to sacrifice in love, um, which I know you married couples, you know, about sacrifice. (laughs) It's, uh, yeah. Um, loving someone in a sacrificial way is probably the least fun way to love someone. (laughs) But there was a lot of that on this outreach and um, God really refined my character through that. So I'm super, super grateful for the ways that God refined my leadership in that. Um, Some other things that I want to update you guys on. Right now, you can see the pine trees in the background. I am on a road trip right now. So what we're doing is I got done... Uh, you know, October 23rd, I took a, about a week break and rested and then jumped into this road trip with my staff team from this DTS. So the whole team that, you know, they all led outreach teams and we all came back and um, we are actually traveling the U.S. right now and we are sharing, uh, we're sharing about missions and YWAM at different churches in different states And our whole purpose is we want to recruit missionaries. We want to send them. We want to see God rise up more missionaries, um, populate our schools so that more people come to know God and make God known. Um, So all that to say, like, this road trip has been incredible. We started in Texas, went to Louisiana. Um, We even went to, like, a couple-day prophetic conference. Um and uh back to texas we did we spent some time in new mexico and right now we are in colorado love colorado i'm gonna see if i can focus so you can see the mountains uh actually i'm not in a spot where you can see the mountains i apologize (laughs) it's appalling i know um if you got the puns bonus points but um yeah things are things are just good right now like Despite the challenges, you know, God is good. And um, this road trip has been an awesome experience. We've already seen people express a bunch of interest in our discipleship training schools and also in just missions in general. And so God is planting tons of seeds. Um, And so we're just there planting the seeds, watering them, and we'll see what God does with that. Um, but I'm going to end this road trip here. We started on November 1st. We're going to end the road trip on, uh, we're going to end the road trip on November 23rd. So that's when I'll be coming home the 23rd, the 24th, I'll come home. And again, I would love to meet with all you folks, anyone who has an interest in missions, in advancing God's kingdom, um, in, in getting to know me or, whatever, hearing about the vision that God has given me, I would love to meet with you. Or if you already support me in prayer or financially, please reach out to me. I will be trying to systematically reach out to everyone on my support list. Um, please don't hold it against me. If you know, you don't get an email from me or something, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I want to, um, get to know people in the kingdom because at the end of the day, we're all brothers and sisters in Christ And we're all advancing God's kingdom together. Um, So we'd love to make that happen. If you are interested at all, please give me, um, yeah, send me a text or hit me up on Facebook. Um, I'll put some information in the comment section so you can just find some information there so you can reach out to me. Um, Other than that, yeah, please, uh, please pray for me. Um, just that God would use this time of rest. Um, you know, I'm going to do some fundraising when I come home for these two weeks, and then I'm going to go to Florida, do a little bit more fundraising there and find some time to rest as well. 
Um, and I want to find space to let God speak about this last outreach that I led. Um, and I want to find the space to walk in a rhythm with God, you know, like a heartbeat, uh, it beats in a rhythm and I want to continue to walk with God in that rhythm consistently. Um, so I'm, I'm really refining that and, and walking back into that place of just a solid rhythm with him, um, without any sporadic, you know, no more sporadic rhythms, just walking with him wholeheartedly, you know, and God's grace is so good. I know that his grace is always sufficient. Um, he's just good. Thank you guys for watching. Um, bit of a long video, but, um, God's just good. You know, he's good. He's worth talking about. I, this stuff is worth talking about. And if you have any questions, please reach out to me. Love you guys. Bye.